Breaking this morning, new data coming from a key European climate monitor program. It's spelling more bad news in the fight against climate change. It is the Copernicus program, as it's known, saying that 2022 last year was the fifth warmest year on record, with temperatures reaching 1.2 above the pre-industrial average. Garrett Barry is on the story for us today. So uh, this is breaking, as I just said, looking through it, that number that I just just cited, Garrett. Overall, what does it mean? How significant is it? There is crucial context here, Heather, and that's that last year was a La Nina year, a phenomenon that generally lowers global temperatures, generally. And without that, you can assume that this number would be even higher. So even though this isn't the hottest year on record, it is being received as bad news for those fighting against climate change. 1.2 degrees warmer than the pre-industrial average, and it's getting close to that critical target, 1.5 degrees, something that we've heard a lot. That's where world governments and advocates are hoping to hold the line. And to those behind this climate program, this data shows that we're clearly on track to hit and exceed that red line. Last year, we said that the last seven years had been the seven most warmest years on record. And the, the re reality is, whether you're in Canada or Europe or anywhere else, the infrastructure that we're living with has been designed decades ago, if not centuries ago. So it's not fit for purpose for the climate that we have right now, let alone the climate that we will face in the future. Burgess says that it's still important to rally for change, for adaption, because even past that 1.5 degree threshold, differences will matter and things can always change. Every fraction of a degree matters. It matters for the types of heat waves that we have in summer and, and the implications that has for vulnerable parts of our community. It matters for ecosystems, whether fish uh, can, can breed or not, whether the, the right prey species are available in the right season for species to flourish. So every single fraction of a degree matters. But there is more bad news. 2023, she says, is starting with several concerning things for climate scientists. A winter heat wave in Europe and record low Antarctic sea ice levels. Any early reaction to this uh, from this country, Garrett? Yeah, uh, Meli Monjerat is a project manager at the University of Waterloo's Intact Center on Climate Adaption. She said this result is further proof that both governments and homeowners need to arm themselves more to respond to a rapidly changing climate. She said governments, for their part, need to re-examine where things are being built, given parts of Canada's north, for example, are warming much faster than that global average. And she also said that homeowners should be getting more ready for things like flooding and wildfires, because those are just going to become more and more frequent as the climate changes in this country. Garrett, thank you very much.